Hey everybody, it's me, Yokel. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Revelation. Uh, we have got a big show today. I have already done quite a bit of stuff to get ready, and I will show all of that to you here in just a minute. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just finishing up a little bit of extra monster proofing around the base. If you've uh, been watching the series for any length of time, you know that uh, one of the themes of my base is the chicken little base. <laughs> it's the please monsters leave me alone and stay away from me. I've got... I've got a feral flare lit. Oh, hey. Wow. You guys are no no consideration at all for the arts, huh? Yeah. Uh, I've got a feral flare lantern that I put up a few episodes ago that is lighting up the, uh, the base. And um, that is uh, helping to prevent monsters from spawning in the area that we're normally working in. And then I have a, an Armara ritual. Okay, I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run over here and show it to you now. <laughs> have an Armara ritual right there that's throwing an invisible uh, re, uh, repulse and sh repulsor shield. Yeah, we'll call it that. Repulsor shield around the base that's uh, preventing mobs from getting in. And now I have put up some of these powered lanterns. Powered lantern from immersive engineering, and they prevent. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, oven preheated. They prevent mobs from spawning within a 32 block radius of the lantern itself. So that's actually pretty nice, and they take a really, really tiny amount of power, which is why. Uh, hi. Wow. Just one of the drawbacks of working at night, <laughs> trying to record at night. You got all these, all these people trying to get some extra screen time. I moved all of this stuff around, and I really like the way it's set up. Now, going to leave this here, but I'm actually going to try to improve on it by building some stuff over there, and uh, hopefully this will make sense once I start doing it. I put together the uh, this little uh, uh, immersive engineering uh, power station. So we got the windmill, we got the battery. Uh, I've got it tied into a power cell here, which is cool. Uh, the tie, the, it, I, it's linked to another power cell, the original one that we built, uh, which is, uh, oh, I think it's out, it's out there. You know, you can barely see it. It's way out there in the water with my builder. Uh, and then there's another power lantern over there. So for 32 blocks this way, from shore to shore, mobs won't spawn. So this dark area in here is more safe than it was before. To help me clear out all of that space up there, I made an infused crystal axe. Um, and let me show you what this thing does, because this thing is awesome. Uh, let's, just, let's just pick a tree. Here we go. Boom, look at that. Harvested the whole tree and brought it right to me. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Today, we are going to make aquamarines to power... Our uh, light wells. We're, to, we're gonna we're gonna in, uh, make them into resonating gems, and oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be very complicated. There's a lot of stuff that we need to do. I uh, will probably do a lot of the uh, the crafting off uh, off camera just because uh, it, it, there's a lot of it that needs to be done. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to uh, clear out all of these crops here because we're gonna need this land. We need to put down a starlight infuser, so we need to build one of these guys. I wonder if we could use the builder for that. Let's go grab the builder. I bet you we can. Whee! Builder is out here right now. I need a piece of star metal. Yeah, I am going to want a redstone furnace. Ta-da! Hey, okie dokie. We need to make sure we go down deep enough uh, so that we catch the uh, blocks that are down there. So what we're going to need to do, let's go underneath, I think, actually. Corner. And then I'll put another corner right here. Yeah? Yeah. And see, right click. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got uh, chamber successfully created. So we're not going to move it. We're going to copy it. Copy. There we go. Yeah, we're going to copy. And yeah, that's looking right. So let's go ahead and let's help it out here. Keep my fingers crossed. I did make a backup of the world just in case. Excellent. Cool. There we go. We have successfully made a copy of our Starlight Infuser. 
very exciting. I love the builder. <laughs> Yay, builder. One of the things that we're going to be doing over there is making slime balls so that we can infuse them on an altar. Turn them into magma creams. Oh, just a quick update from the last episode in case anybody is wondering. This didn't work. <laughs> the, ra the rain does actually activate the dispenser. The dispenser dispenses bone meal. The bone meal causes a sunflower to pop off, but it causes it just to kind of drop straight down. It never comes close to being caught by Teratar Bozu. Uh, I have some ideas about how to fix that, but it's going to be a different episode. The reason I'm doing the redstone furnace with the flux anodizer right now is because even it's it's really like one of the last steps in the machine that I'm going to be building, but it's probably going to be the one that takes the most power. So I think that I'm going to build it first uh, because well, well, first of all, because I can use it right away, uh, and then also I want to see how much power it's going to take because that windmill up there might not cut it. And got a XNet controller. Boom. That's nice right there. I like that. Okay, so let's put our controller right here. I'll make this simple. Yay, there we go. Do um let's do like this. So now that you've now that you've had a chance to juice up a little bit, move him right here. There we go. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create an energy channel. Create. We are going to say from you, we're going to extract and into the controller we are going to insert. And we give him priority one so that he's always getting some juice. Then we're going to need our redstone furnace. Kind of irrelevant where we put him, I think. So uh, for right now, I'm gonna put him right here. He will also need uh, energy, there we go. I need to make that, um, hang on, hardened upgrade. Let's do that. Okay, so we have got our flux anodizer. We got to, let's see, we got to do this. <clears throat> We've upgraded this. Now that allows us to add an augmentation. So we're going to put this in there now. And what are you going to use? Maximum power 30, really? Good with that. Uh, I have some stuff that I can throw in there right away. What did I do with it? There it is. Aquamarine shale. I went around and I gathered this with my silk touch shovel earlier. Now this will let us get four aquamarines out of each one of these. Boom. Oh, six. Wow. Awesome. Okay, so now can we keep up? Are we keeping up? Let's see, what are you saying up there? Yeah, okay, so he's draining. Not too bad, not too bad. Look at that, boom, 66 aquamarines. That is super duper sweet. So, now that we've got that part set up and we've got the, a, kind of an idea of what the uh, power requirements are gonna be, I'm not so concerned about the rest of this. So I think this is gonna go okie dokie. Now what we wanna do is we wanna put our cloach up and I think, just for fun, I'm going to put it right here. Take a normal chest. And I'm going to put him right here, like that. And then I'm going to put this guy like that. Dirt and rice. We're going to need a water supply. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cheese it a bit and use the sink, oh sink, there we go. Use the sink from cooking with blockheads. So we're gonna put the sink right here. <laughs> sure, we'll put it right there. Put a connector on it, and we'll put a cable on that, like that, there we go. And all right, so we get our fluid channel, we're going to extract from our sink and then you are going to connect. And we're going to insert into you. And now we should get water. Yes. Can I put power? I don't think I can put power in on the side there. Let's see. Yeah, power's going to have to go in on this side over here. Okay, put insert there. And then uh, here we put insert. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay, yeah, now we're getting power, and I think we're still getting water on this side. Excellent. Look at that. There we go. Getting some rice going here. This is the first time I've used one of these cloches. This is very exciting. Next, what we want to do is we want to collect the rice and send it to a crafter. And I'm going to use an RF Tools crafter. Tier 1. And Tier 2. Excellent. There we go. All right. Let's put our Tier 2 crafter up here. We're going to do our first item channel now. We are going to turn it off, first of all. Just check that little V there, because we don't want things moving around until we're ready for them. So what we're going to do is we're going to extract rice from that chest. And we are going to insert rice from that chest into our crafter. So let's go over here. First recipe is going to be rice dough. We need our dough to go to the buffer. Yeah, right? Okay, so let's turn that on and see if that's going to do what we want it to do. Okay, let's go back to our power and we are going to insert. There we go. Yeah, excellent. And there we go, we've made dough. Next up, we need the fluid crafter from industrial foregoing. There we go. And let's see, what do we need for this bad boy? I have not looked at this yet. Plastic. What is? What do we need plastic? Dry rubber. Redstone furnace. That's good. We got one of those. All right. <laughs> so dry rubber. Comes from tiny dry rubber. Let's see. I guess we're going to need to look this up. Industrial before we going to do that. Latex processing unit. Oh, I already dislike this. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit of a rabbit hole that I got to go down here, but that's all right. We're also going to need to make an item splitter. See what we need for that? Probably more plastic? Yeah, more plastic. Oh, here we go. Look, see? Popped out. No problem. Boop. Didn't work. He's so sad. Cheer up, buddy. Ta da! So we got a couple of choices here. We can use the mechanical user. From extra utilities, I need a redstone, resonating redstone crystal for each one, though. And I'm going to need one, two, 13 of those guys, and I have one. So I could do it. I would just have to go hunting for those redstone things. Gadgetry, though, has, uh, where is it? Block activator. There we go. Let's see. We need steel for that, though. What do you need? That looks really doable. Let's do that. See how we doing there? We got some steel. Awesome. Let's see. We are going to need one mechanical user. Yeah, I got one right here. And we are going to need a resonating wand for that mechanical user. So let's make that. Also going to need two chalices. Containment chalices. I think those are actually a little involved. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to need some more star metal. A four star metal ingots. All right, so I've got some iron here. I just need to transmute it. So I'm just going to do that real quick right here. Didn't take long. Yep, look at that. Cool, now let's take our star metal. We can run it over here through our new handy-dandy redstone furnace because... Uh, why did you stop? Oh, I see. It's too many. Look at this though. Yeah. Ooh yeah. Alright, we need need ten aquamarines. Uh then I'm going to need four resonating ones. And let's let's see if we can't actually use a machine to do that for us. Edge act. Gadge act. Boom, there we go. All right, so now we're going to go over here. Want it to face the infuser. There we go. All right. So, um, I thought it might be kind of fun to, to use different things. So I haven't used any Yaba barrels yet. So I thought maybe I would use some Yaba barrels. Do three Yaba barrels. And then we want this. This guy here, um, oh, wow, <laughs> I had everything, yay, oh, there we go, problem solved. 
You know, actually, there's one other thing that I need to make that I have not made yet, and I think it's going to come in real handy. Trash cans. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to make a couple of trash cans. Uh, we'll do it right here for right now. I will probably change this. This is the furnace, right? Yeah, all right. So uh, the furnace, we are going to insert... Turn it off. Insert aquamarine shale. Yeah. And then we are going to create a new item channel. We're going to turn it off for right now. From the redstone furnace, we are going to extract aquamarines. We are going to insert into the Yaba barrel connector. Aquamarines. And if I turn that on, I should see, yeah, that happened. Cool. All right. So there's all the aquamarines now. Um, do I want to go underground with this? Let's go underground with it. Yeah, that'll be fun. Let's do that. And in fact, I think I can kill two birds with one stone if I put this here. Okay. Let's name this one here too. Let's name this uh, infuse in a few in user connector. We're going to extract from our Yaba barrels aquamarines. And it says infuser connector there. We're going to pick one of those. We'll just pick the top one and we are going to insert aquamarines and we're going to say one. So we're only going to put one in here at any given time or maybe it's that one I don't know we'll see which one it turns out to be okay so let's turn that channel back on let's see okay it's gonna try to put this in here now this is the one thing I don't know about can we turn this off No, we can't turn it off. And the mechanical user, put you down. Yes, I can. The resonating wand in there. Activate with item, and voila, there we go. This is where the ones for the light wells are going to go. But this is where the light wells will go. Will go. Let's see, let's turn this channel off for just a second. So we're going to extract seeds also, and we are going to insert. Seeds <laughs> into trash can. And let's see. Okay, so there's a bunch of seeds in there. And let's turn it back on. And voila, there we go. Ex excellent. All of our extra seeds are going to be voided for us now. So there's those. These are they. Those are there. All right, there's our fluid crafter. And the item splitter. Great. You know, I can actually, I could probably bury some of this stuff too. I don't need all of this above ground, do I? Cool. Okay. Oops. We want to insert water into the fluid crafter. Cool. Getting that. Okay. And neither of these guys need power, I believe. Grab some dough. And let's see, this is, this is the fluid crafter back here. And this is, this is kind of a pain. So we do. Nope. Like that. Grab some water. I have a sink right there. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yeah, that should do it, right? Excellent. Okay, so that's going to make us rice slime balls. Now, if we were to just put the rice slime, uh, the rice dough right into the fluid crafter, it, what it would do is it would try to fill this spot with a stack of rice dough before it moved on to the others. And we don't want that, obviously. We want it to go into each one, of the, you know, put one in each one and then make the rice balls. So that's why we have to use the item splitter. So that being said, what we need to do now is we need to go to, where is our crafter? There's our crafter. And we want to extract 
Let's see, that's the fluid channel though, right? Okay, so we can't do it there. So we're inserting on this channel. So it's gonna have to be channel four. So we wanna go to channel four to our crafter and we wanna pull the rice dough out. So let's turn it off for just the moment. And we're going to say extract rice dough. And then we're going to insert rice dough into that item splitter, okay? Okay, I think that's right. <laughs> so let's turn it on. Let's see what happens now. Uh, we should be getting, yep, stuff's going through there. And there we go. We're making rice balls. Excellent. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take rice balls and we're going to bring them into here. We're going to create a new recipe. And it's going to be this. So this is going to convert the rice slime balls into regular slime blocks. And then this is going to go to the internal buffer. And we apply it. Okay, boom. So now what we should do is go over here. And let's see, here is our crafter. Here's the channel. We're already inserting on channel three. So let's use that. Turn it off temporarily. We're going to insert slime balls. And of course we need to extract those from our fluid crafter and turn it back on. And now we should see slime balls going away. Yes, and slime blocks being made. Yay, and there we go. And you'll notice the slime blocks are staying here in the inventory. They're not getting put in the output buffer. And the reason for that is because our next recipe is going to take this slime block and it's going to turn it into regular slime balls. Okay, and then we're going to send those to the external buffer. All right, cool. Now what I need to do is I need to send the slime balls into storage. We're going to insert, there we go. We're gonna insert slime balls. And from the crafter, we're going to extract slime balls. And there we go, got some slime balls showing up there. Yeah, let's see, let's just turn this channel off for just a second. Okay, so we're gonna extract slime balls out of our Yaba array. Yaba, Yaba. And then we're gonna go up here. Let's see, this one's getting aquamarine. So this one is going to get slime balls. And again, we're only gonna set one in there at a time. We don't need to clog this thing up. Okay, so let's see, let's turn it on. Yep. And ta -da! yes, excellent. And let's let's turn that off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ranged collector and let's see, that's a connector. So let's put that there, excellent. And we're gonna tell it to pick up magma creams. Oh, you actually, do you actually need, there we go. You, you actually need my magma cream? So we're gonna be inserting magma creams into the crafter that are coming from, there we go, there's our collector. It's coming from our collector. And now for our last recipe. Last recipe. We take four of those guys and we make a magma block. And that will go to the external buffer. Boom. There we go. And when we put a magma block on top of a light well, that will create lava. So that's, that's uh, where we're going next. But I need to get materials to make light wells. I need to go get crystals. So I'm going to go take care of that and I will be back for you almost immediately. While I was out, I got eight. Yeah, there we go. I got eight rock crystals. And so that, oh, and I got uh, diamonds. There we go. Like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's just go ahead and load them up there. You know, eight actually might be enough for this whole thing. We'll see. Like this, yeah. Make our chalices. All right, well, that one is finishing up. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna make a couple of changes here. I was just thinking about this. And then we need to run some network cables over here. Okay, uh, that's totally unnecessary. So these guys should all be hooked up over here now. Uh, here, let's name these just so it's a little bit easier to see what they are. 
Lava Light Wells 2 and Lava Light Wells 1. Okay. Uh, and then this one over here is uh, Lava Chalice. Let's turn off channel 3 for a moment here. We're going to go down to our Yaba Item Barrel Collector. We're going to extract magma cubes out of you. And we are going to insert magma cubes into you. We're going to put one in there. Lava Light Wells 2. We're going to do the same thing. I bet there is a lot of slime balls. Yeah, so if those all start getting made into magma creams right away, it's just going to start burning through what little bit of starlight we have. So let's just... Oops. Let's not... No, I want to take them all out. And then I'll just... Um, I don't know. I'll just put like maybe 16 back in. Yeah, all right. Let's do that. And uh, I hate to do it, but I'm just going to trash all of these. Okay, we're going to... Starlight Chalice is not interacting with the Starlight Infuser, and it's because this activator right here is blocking its view. So we'll have to do something about that. Look at that. How cool is that? You can see where your wiring's at. I like that. that being inserted. We need to pull these resonating gems now out of our ranged collector. Same with the magma creams. The magma cream should be going back into here. Yep. And so the resonating gems coming out of here need to go into something. We're extracting from there. Okay, I think, I think this is all right now. Okay. All right, so I'm turning this on. What on earth is going to happen? All right, so this is definitely working over here. Oh, oh, this is working over here. Here we go. Check it out. All right, so we've got uh, magma blocks coming up here. Starting to make lava for us. Yeah, okay, cool. Now check this out. Boom. Were these things... Oh, they can't collide. They can't see each other. <laughs> oh, no. That is a problem. Oh, rats. Because that's key to our success right there. I That is... All right. Hold on a second. All right. We got to turn this off. All right. Let's, let's fire up the machine here and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's working. It's working. Cool. And look at that. Now we got our sand popping up over here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. So we need a ranged... We need the ranged collector to collect that stuff. All right. Let's turn this off. Does it need line of sight? No, because it's pulling off of there just fine. So let's put... Ooh, does it even need... Does it even need to be up here? Collector. It is working, yes. Man, this is one noisy machine. <laughs> Alright, what's going on here? Something's something's not going right. <laughs> okay, we got uh no water. Why is there no water there? Maybe that uh maybe I was wrong about the water. I think what's going on is it's wanting um uh, it's wanting to do the water in one in the energy in the other one. Let's just see if we can actually make it work this way. It does. Okay. All right. So that's working. Um, hey, look at that. We've got crystal, rock crystal, ta -da, and aquamarine shale. That's what we're going for. So we're going for shale. Cool. Um, hmm. Rock crystals. I wasn't, wasn't counting on those. <laughs> Next thing that we need to do, sorry, I'm just kind of smiling. I'm just, I'm, it's, it's working. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. It's working. <laughs> it, it even seems to be working properly. <laughs> 20, 19. Resonating gems. Oh, man, this is exciting, guys. This is really exciting. I think that that is probably, like, enough. <laughs> Uh, I've got some fine-tuning to do to this thing But yeah, there it is. There is the uh, There is the aquamarine slash lava Slash magma block magma cream. I mean you name it. We got a lot of things going on here, but here it is. This is the machine We used Xnet We've used a thermal uh, dyna a thermal expansion. Pardon me. Uh, a little bit of industrial foregoing, and of course, a whole mess of astral sorcery. Oh, and of course, let's not forget gadgetry. 
very, very loud gadgets. <laughs> so, guys, I hope that you have had as much fun as I have had today because I've had a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see how this thing breaks and what I have to do to fix it. But it's going to be glorious, I'm sure. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I labored through all of this. I hope I can figure out a way to cut this video down to a watchable length. Otherwise, I'll just release all five hours and you guys can sift through it yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, you guys have a great one. Thanks for coming. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Feed the beast.